I have another elf haul to show. Now I've already kind of played with this stuff a little bit because at first I didn't think I was gonna film this because I didn't think I needed to film another elf haul. But looking at stuff on YouTube, it kind of convinced me that it was a good idea and that people like it and that they want to see it. Let me know if I'm wrong and I won't do it again. Okay, so another elf haul. Here we go. Here's my box. Here's a good size box. Here's a sneak beaver. Let's start with the skincare then. I got this hydrating gel mask. So it looks like this. All of their skincare packaging is super cute. It's got a great color. It's kind of like a frosted plastic. Now the texture of this isn't what I was expecting because it's white. It's not like a clear gel, but I mean, it's a white gel, but it feels much more creamy and less gel-like than I expected. The way I anticipate I would use it is as an overnight mask, although it says to like put it on and wipe it off. Up to you. <laughs> That's what they say, but I'll probably try using it as an overnight mask. When I did it for just a little bit, it seemed like it felt kind of sticky, but that's why I think it does tell you to rinse it off when you're done. Yeah. And that's why I think I'd like it as an overnight mask so that it can sit there. And then I usually use some micellar water on my skin in the morning. That's how I intend to use it. And I'm excited. Hydrating. I need hydrating. I have the nourishing oil to foam cleanser, which I feel like I've heard mixed reviews on, but I decided to go ahead and get it anyway. I think it could be something that I like. I need gentle cleansers for sure. And it seems like it would be a gentle cleanser. I feel like I would use it for makeup removal in the evening. And I'm excited to give it a try. It's got more of that pretty packaging. Okay. How about lip exfoliators? I went a little nuts and I got three. I got the grapefruit, coconut, and rose because I wanted to see them and try them. I thought I had already had these and maybe I gave them to somebody to like friends or something or I just lost them. So I got them again. They're very inexpensive and they're awesome for lip exfoliating. This is the grapefruit. It smells like grapefruit, a little stinkier, not necessarily the best grapefruit, but it smells like grapefruit at the bottoms. Yeah, they are little pots of it too. I think it depends on whether you're a grapefruit smell lover. This is the rose. I love rose smells. I like rose. Yeah, it's kind of got a little stinkiness to it too. I don't think it super smells like rose. I don't know. They don't, not, they don't smell super strong. I don't think it's gonna like, but if you're concerned, go with the original because it's just kind of sweet smelling. The coconut. The coconut's the winner. Go with coconut. It smells delicious like coconut. I would say it's the strongest fragrance, but both the rose and the grapefruit had a similar kind of like off stank smell that the coconut doesn't have. It definitely seems like the way to go. wonder if they're as, they don't, it, hard, it doesn't look necessarily as um, exfoliate as the original, but it's hard to tell. All right. I got the glitter primer. I don't do a lot of glitter, so I don't have a glitter primer yet, but I figured if I ever want to do so, Elf's glitter primer is gonna be the cheap way to go, so I got it, to have it, just to have, just so I have it. Ooh, okay, this is an exciting one. They just released their liquid matte lipsticks. I got T-Rose. Tea Rose is the shade that appeals to me the most. It's kind of like a lavendery pink, nudie pink. They've had it in some of their other lip products and it's a shade that I like. So I knew this was the one I wanted. I'll be honest though, when I saw their marketing pictures even, I didn't love the way it looked on the lips. And when I gave it a little test go, I saw the same problem. At first, it felt really nice and it looked really nice, but then it got sticky and then it got ugly and it didn't look the best. So I'll give it a try and I'll see what I can do. I'm cons I, I just don't have high expectations. I don't think this is going to be the way to go. The packaging does look pretty. I love e.l.f. I love lots of their products, but it feels kind of like an older 
liquid lipstick. And, you know, they've gotten better and the formulas have gotten better. And the price point of $5, you could get color pops or you could do the new wet and wild one or that's not far off from nyx and i think those are going to be better but i would love to be proven wrong so we will find out when i try it more i got a couple of these just spoolies spoolies on a stick i think they were 50 cents a piece and somehow my spoolies all grew legs and walked away so i needed some more i got the beautifully bare blending brush Look at what a cute, stubby little brush it is. It feels very soft. I feel like it would be nice for blush, contour, maybe a really wild highlight. But it seems nice, and I got it. Oh, actually, I got a third of these. A third one, yay more! <laughs> I got the HD Lifting Concealer in Fair. I had purchased this before in Light, which I believe was the lightest that I had at my CVS, and I think you might have to go online or like to their store if you're gonna find the fair. I like the consistency of the concealer, but the light was just too dark for me. So I'm excited to try this one. Let's see what, I mean the shade looks like a much closer, fairer match. I got their Pro Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I haven't liked their other eyeshadow primers, like their old normal ones, super much. I mean, it's okay, but. It wasn't really great, but I feel like I've heard quite a few people like this one a good amount. It's a huge tube. You're never going to need more eyelid primer, but you're going to buy more. That's what we're going to do. Okay, it's got a thick consistency and a flesh tony pinky color. It feels slick, not sticky. So I bet like the shades would blend really nicely over it. I'll be excited to give that a try. The tube has a nice, I mean, they're inexpensive packaging, but they, they're doing a really good job of making it look chic. And it's that kind of like softish plastic too. It feels nice. And lastly, this wasn't as large as my holes. We're already at the last two things. I got two blush duos. This is the matte soft and subtle. It is definitely more subtle than the other one. There's your blush and bronzer shade. Or wait, are these both blush? No, these are both blush. They're both pink toned. I think they seem really pretty. These come with a nice large mi mirror. The packaging isn't expensive, but it still has a nice feel to it. So I'm excited to give it a good try out. I like a matte blush. As I was looking earlier, like, could I use more blush? I don't think I really could. I don't think so. I don't know, should I? Mm, no. This one is a blush and bronzer. It's the Aqua Beauty Aqua Infused Blush and Bronzer in Bronzed Peach. I thought this was really cute. It's blue here for their Aqua blue Beauty instead of their normal like white elf. The packaging is like shiny, whereas the other one was matte. So look how pigmented. They really are really dark. I have to use a really light hand. And they've got this cool cushy feel to them. Like almost kind of like a ColourPop product. Not quite as cushy, but cushy. So I'm excited to try that out. Well, that's this e.l.f. haul. Definitely a smaller haul than my ultra super mega hauls, but still a mighty haul. I like it. I'm happy with it. There's a number of products I'm excited to use. I will try to check back in if I have any favorites or any duds. Feel free to ask any questions that you have. And I'm going to say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.